Hey yo, actually Among Us here, and we're about to get into something a little new, kind of, in a way. We were playing this team on stream last week. Make sure y'all check out the Friday night battle streams every Friday 7 Eastern time. And I tried to edit the team a little bit. So, just a quick breakdown uh, before we get into the battle. Not to take too much time, but... We got a dual weather trick room team, so we kind of need to explain how we slow down the brute bonnet still rocking the loaded dice with the bullet seed. We kept the hat the same. Um, slowed down the torkoal and added roaring moon for some speed. So we'll see y'all in the battle. Uh, we're going to be testing this out against our friend Kelly. You've seen him on the channel many times before. Alright, we in the spot. Kelly leading with Logan. The Lycan Rock. Me, not a great matchup. Leading with my Torkoal. <clears throat> Let's try and try and make an early play here. See if they go for stealth rocks, but the um, stone edge is probably the the play. So yeah, we kind of end up giving this up way early. That sucks. <laughs> so we'll bring out the Oonga Boongas, see if we can put some work in with that. He withdraws. I could have gone for a spore here, but I think I'm going to go for damage. The other thing that I didn't mention in the um, team preview part of the video is that I actually changed the terror type to fighting. But we're actually going to do nothing to this thing after Intimidate. Okay, they're a special variant. I thought they were going to set up there. But we're still going to live and get the spore off, so that's advantageous at least. Now we'll bring out the Roaring Moon, have a little Paradox battle right here. Now what he doesn't know 
is that I actually didn't even bring a dragon move on this thing. It's just purely the counter fairies. Lure him in and then kill him with the iron head. Steel, Terra Steel. Mm, Rocky Helmet and on Life Orb. Uh, this thing's a threat. I could Terra here. I actually think I'm okay with losing this thing though. Okay, we can live one. We go down to the next ice shard. Oh, nice. Well, we'll go down to our life orb actually. So that's a great trade for us. Now we're gonna go to our slow king here because depending on what Kelly wants to do, we can either set up our snow or we can set up a trick room. I think trick room is the play. Okay, they're gonna go Stone Edge. That's huge damage. We're gonna... We're going to go for a very risky play here and click the Scald, but he's going to withdraw. Losing Slow King right there would have really nerfed our um, the Titan. thing kind of built different with this sitting in front of us we gonna slack off hey Lang ah Okay, let's pull out Slow King back, bring out Torkoal, soak up some hits, set up the sun too. Oh, they're gonna double. Were they anticipating this? going to put up my rocks they make another switch 
Will this thing carry the defog? Okay, let's go back to the Slow King. I think the Titan can win this. Especially like this. Mm-hmm. I think a little too much switching on Kelly's part in this one. Nah, I'm playing. I want to mess with this thing a little more. It is a dual weather team. You're going to slow the sun down a little bit, but we, we take that knock off just fine. Now can we get a burn? Let's go. That's what I needed this switch for. Now if he switches as well, we're in a really good position, but this this kind of a sack here. Alright, that's the sack. Oh, they go for the Terra, but this time we trying to set up for real. What's the Terra type going to be? Terra Dark, Fat Knockoff coming in. I need Torko to survive. But they're burned, so I'm feeling good about it. Yeah, no problem. We're going to get most of that back from Regenerator. Ta-da! I think we're going to Terra here in order to predict the fighting type move. Set up this big fat belly drum. And we probably got the win right here. We took out his priority in Mammoth Swine. We got the speed on his Mori Pico. I think we live this hit and we win. Boom. Called it with the Terra type. And of course we got the burn on this thing, which was a threat. Was definitely a threat because it has a poison attack as well.
Okay, there's one thing that could be in our way still. Play rough has a 10% chance to miss. And I feel like Master Titan loves to brick his play rough. Intimidate ain't gonna help much in this situation. back in I'm not gonna risk the miss I can kill this I'm not gonna risk the miss I can kill this Okay, they pulled a double. What they got the uh No, this is the Lycan Rock. We're good, we're good. We got this, GG. We also know that the item on the Morpico's boots because it came in without taking rock damage, so it's the GG's. Oh, they do have the opportunity to outspeed us here. Very interesting play. I don't think that more Pico is going to be able to take three members of my team anyway, but that was a well played end game by Kelly. Shout out to him and make sure y'all like and subscribe as always. Until next time, actually Amunga signing off. Peace.